Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to the Fine Disaster, this is Battlefield 1 and today's weapon review we're going to be taking a close look at the MG15 Storm LMG, exclusively of course available to the support class in Battlefield 1. We're going to be taking a close look at its stats, properties and attributes and of course when to best use this weapon and how to best use this weapon. Starting off then with the stats of the MG15 Storm, as we usually do with weapon reviews. With a maximum damage of 23 and a minimum damage of 17.5, what we essentially have here is a guaranteed 6-shot kill at all ranges, with a 5-shot kill all the way up to 5 meters. This comes paired with a relatively high fire rate, at least for LMGs, at 500 rounds per minute. Only the bar in the case of the LMG category can beat them out. However, in close quarter, you may find this fire rate to be slightly underwhelming, which is no surprise because the number of the SMGs obviously have a high amount of damage they can output in close quarter. Moving on then to the muzzle velocity, we usually don't mention this with LMGs, but I just wanted to in the case of the MG15, because it is so very high at 870 meters per second, this is capable of rivaling a number of the sniper rifles and should make long range target shooting, that is to say moving targets at long range, at least from the point of view of muzzle velocity, relatively easy to hit. Moving on then to the magazine size at 100, this is one of the largest magazines we have in the machine gun category in Battlefield 1. This would not be the case if this were any other Battlefield game where most LMGs had 100 or 200 round magazines. However, these classic big LMG magazines are a rarity in Battlefield 1 and as such it's quite a luxury to be having 100 bullets to go through with this weapon. Moving on then to reload times at 4.45 seconds. There's no surprise here. Reloads are lengthy and can get you killed if you trigger them at the wrong time but this is a consequence of having simply quite that large of a magazine. Classic for LMGs. Nothing unexpected here. Recoil on the Storm variant of the MG15 is relatively controllable and certainly less than the other variants available. It comes with a vertical recoil of 0.231 and recoil to the left and right equal at 0.245. In my experience, this weapon is relatively easy manageable for shooting at almost everything other than extreme long ranges. This is further enhanced by its first shot multiplier at 1.8, making tap firing somewhat of an option. Just remember, however, that LMGs in Battlefield 1 do become more accurate the longer you shoot shoot them. However, with the weapon patches and weapon tweaks done to the LMGs over the last few patches that we've had, I think you'll find that LMGs now have a decent accuracy to begin with and therefore tap firing is once more becoming somewhat of an option for longer range shooting. Moving on then to the accuracy of the MG15 Storm, we have an ADS value that is while well standing aiming down sight of 0.18, a very accurate weapon should do the trick for most engagement distances. You also have a very decent ADS for moving, that is to say at 1.02 you can actually strafe and shoot for both close quarter and medium range targets with relative reliability, making yourself of course a much harder target to pick off for something like a sniper player. Moving on then to the hip fire of this weapon, no surprises here, it's not great for hip firing with a hip fire value that is while well standing and moving while hip firing at 2.5. You may want to stay away from hip fire if you're not in close quarter, however as many of you will know in Battlefield 1 basically every weapon in close quarter at least is relatively reliable at hip fire and the LMG are no exception. With the accuracy mentioned at 2.5, you can actually relatively comfortably hit your targets in extreme close quarters. It's just those medium ranges where the SMGs may still be hitting their targets relatively comfortable with hip fire, where you may want to aim down sight with your LMG. With that then being covered, what do these stats mean and how do we work with this weapon in practice? Now the stats speak a pretty clear picture, there's not any glaring obvious weakness that this weapon has, there's no glaring obvious strength either and this makes it a candidate for one of the more flexible weapons in Battlefield 1, of which sadly there are actually not that many, which makes this gun actually relatively competitive, relatively valuable and especially those for looking for the Ace 23 of Battlefield 1, well I'm not claiming this is, it's certainly one of the weapons you would have to look at regarding that question. It has a good fire rate, good Good damage output, relatively controllable, usable at everything but long range, doesn't need to be reloaded too often, admittedly once it does it will take you some time, is relatively accurate, can be shot while strafing as well, and even hip fire is decent enough for close quarter engagement combat. This is one of the reasons why I enjoy the MG15 so much, and frankly pretty much all of the variants of the MG15, one of which I will be covering actually in a weapon review for itself relatively soon. The MG15 is a master at medium range, that's no 
secret, but its relatively good fire rate makes it quite capable at close quarter as well. And even at long range, especially thanks to these suppression mechanics, you can be quite useful. Maybe you won't get that kill, but you're more than likely to suppress your enemy, making it relatively difficult for them to kill you while you're crossing that open space and getting behind your next piece of cover. Not only that, but the MG15 compares relatively well to the Bar Storm as well. Now, the Bar is hailed as the best LMG in the game, and frankly, I would probably agree. However, I'd argue that the MG15 is relatively close behind. And for those of you trying to imagine what the MG15 performs like on the battlefield, this is now to say the Storm variant, well, you should probably compare it to the Bar Storm. It's got a little bit less regarding the close quarter potential. It's got more regarding the medium range potential and probably a similar amount to the Bar Storm regarding a long range potential. Regarding its long range performance, the one advantage it does have over the Bar Storm, however, is of course that magazine. Just to give you a rough idea, the MG15 Storm has a little bit more horizontal, however, less vertical recoil than the Bar Storm. It has a slightly better ADS, but in turn is not quite as good at moving while shooting or hip firing. So as you can see, the MG15 Storm very much is the more flexible of the two weapons, however, less good at close quarter, which is of course an important part of combat in Battlefield 1. So your thoughts are for you to decide. Try out this weapon yourself. I at least absolutely love the MG15 Storm and a number of the other MG15 variants. You should be trying those out as well if you find this weapon useful. Feel free at least to leave your experiences with the MG15 down below and let me know what other video suggestions you have for future Battlefield 1 videos. With that all being said, however, I'd like to thank you all very much for watching and hope to see you in the next Battlefield 1 video.